Hello. Um, so in this lecture, we want to show that um, you can actually represent re regions on an urban diagram using inequalities. Okay. So for example, uh, from previous lectures, uh, we know that the absolute value of z is equal to two, for instance, uh, represents a circle, right? With center the origin, zero, zero, in the radius of one, of two. So this is um, the one on an urban diagram, the imaginary and the real part. This is basically a circle of radius two. Okay? Good. And all that means is that we are on this on this circle. Now if I have z to be less than or equal to 2, okay, then what that means is that this is also still on this um, Adam diagram. Um, and then now if you consider the equality, what it means is that I am on a circle of radius 2. But less than 2 means that everything that is inside of the circle. Okay? So this is actually the region that is inside of this circle, including, including the boundary because of the equality. So everything inside this um, circle plus the boundary point is represented by, by that. Okay? Now, if this was just less than 2 and not less than or equal to, right, if we just had the absolute value of z less than 2, then again you're going to have, you consider the case where you have a circle of radius 2, okay, radius 2. Um, so let me do this. But now, but now it's less than 2, so which means the boundary is excluded. Okay, so we don't have the boundaries. So what you do is that you want to use dotted lines, right? You use dotted lines to represent um, to represent the boundary. Okay, so if absolute value of z is less than two, then it means that everything inside the circle, but now you exclude exactly the boundary. So everything inside here is represented like that. So that is um, how you represent. Some of uh, some of these inequalities, okay, on an Adam diagram. So let's look at uh, some very simple examples again. Let's take a look at this. So now this is this is a circle at the origin, okay. So question is, what happens if I have, uh, let's say, minus two and i, z minus two plus i is, let's say, less than or equal to two. Okay, then in that case, what do you do? Okay, note that here we can rewrite this as z minus, this is negative 2 minus, um, so this is positive 2, right? Positive 2 minus i less than or equal to 2. Now, if you consider the equality, okay, if you consider, if you consider the absolute value of z, 2 minus i is equal to 2 to show that this is a circle, all right, in the center of 2, 2 negative 1 in the radius of 2, okay? So this is like this, you can sketch this to be the circle, the center is at 2 and negative 1, so if I have, let's say 1, 2, 3, let's say uh, 4, this is minus 1, negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2, uh, negative 3, right? So the center is 2 and negative 1. 2, negative 1. So we are here with the radius of 2, okay? So I have, let's say, 1, 2 is going to come all the way here, which will be there. The radius is 2, so it's going to have this. So you have a circle that's going to go. Like so, right? So you have a circle. This is the center with a radius of 2. Now, this says that the region is this less than or equal to. So again, this is a circle, but now you want whatever is inside plus the boundary. So this boundary is actually going 
gold, right? It's not dotted because of the quality. So you have this plus whatever is inside it. If you like, you can do this. So everything inside this circle is represented by, by this. By this thing okay? So basically, that is how um, it represents uh, radians. On an other Adam diagram using uh, using inequalities. Now let's look at some other interesting ones. So take a look at this example here. Another example. You want to represent the region. I have an example here. Let's take the absolute value of z minus three less than or equal to z minus five. Okay. So take a look at this. Um, how do you sketch the region represented by this on an Adam diagram? Okay? So, what you do is that, I mean, forget about the, uh, uh, the left hand sign, and then consider z minus 3 to be equal to z minus 5. Now, the advantage is that when you do this, we know this, right? Remember when we were dealing with, um, we were dealing with um, some of these in the previous previous videos. We said that when you see an inequality, right, an absolute value of half, a complex number is equal to an absolute value of another complex number. That represents, right, that represents the perpendicular bisector of the line that is joining the point here and the point there. So the equality is actually the perpendicular bisector. So this is actually the perpendicular, perpendicular bisector of the line. It's a line joining joining the point. The point here is three zero, right? And the point here is five five zero. Okay. So which means that if I draw on an Adam diagram the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the point three, so let's say one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, maybe one, let's say one, this is minus one and so on. So I have a point three zero, I have another point five zero. The bisector of that line is given by this. So the bisector of the line joining these two points is, of course, this line here. Right? Okay? That's the bisector. Because of, well, with the equality, it's going to be, it's going to be that. Good. So, first you forget about the lens down and look at the equality. The equality tells you this. Now, this says that I want all the points such that if I take any z, the distance of z to 3 to this point here, okay, should be less than the distance of z to the point 5. Okay, so which point would that be? Notice that if I take any points on this side of the line, on this side, for instance, if I take a point 3, point 5 here, then any z from here to 3 is of course less than the distance from z to 5. So that, that um, satisfies this inequality. If I take any point even here, if I take a point at 1 here, the distance from this point 1 to 3 is less than the distance from here to 5. And that satisfies this. So which means all the points on this side of the perpendicular bisector satisfy this inequality. So the region that this satisfies actually the region on this side of the perpendicular bisector. So this region here, okay, is represented by that inequality. Okay? Note that if I take a point on this side, it won't satisfy the inequality. If I take a point, whatever, let's take a point here, uh, six, seven, six here, the distance from six, right, to three, is more than the distance from 6 to 5. So it doesn't satisfy us. I want something that is less. Okay? So this region here, 
A on this side of the inequality is something like that. Again, if this was just less than we got equality, then it's going to be the same thing, but this line here will be dotted. Okay? Because there's no equal sign to be dotted. But now it is more than that. Alright? Good. Now let's look at um, maybe the last one. So let's take a look at look at this. Um, this one. We want the region, so let's sketch. Ah, okay, before we do that, I want to show that um, you can also actually get this. You can find the uh, you can find the uh, Cartesian form of the equation represented by this. So let's do that. So from here, actually, if I let this is this is less than z minus five. If I let z to be equal to x plus y i, then of course the absolute value of I put z here this should be z minus three plus y i less than this is x this should be x minus five plus y i. Okay, I can square both sides and find the um, modulus. So this should be x minus three squared plus y squared, and this is less than or equal to x minus five squared plus y squared, right? So of course this would give me x squared under six x plus nine plus y squared is less than x squared minus ten x plus twenty five plus y squared. Okay? The x squares cancel out, the y squares cancel out. So I'm left with I'm going to bring minus 10 here, that gives me 4x. And I'm going to take the 9 to this side. I have 25 minus 9 is 16, which implies that if I divide it by 4, I'm going to have x is less than or equal to what? 4. So this is the equality in Cartesian form is given by the region x less than 4. And it's the same as we have here. See? So I have x is equal to 4 is this line here, right? This is 4 here. And you have all numbers for which x is less than 4. That is this region. See that? So in this Cartesian um, Cartesian form, it is the same region that you're going to get. So you could, you could also use this. But of course, this is longer than just doing it directly from the other diagram. Alright? Good. Um, I'll do maybe two more examples. Okay, um, and then we can we can continue from there. So in the next clip, we should see um, we're going to do just two more examples of this, and then we'll move on to something else on transformations. Okay.